Well, good morning, everybody. I have kind of a fun special surprise for you. I'm gonna be at Amber's today, and we are gonna be cooking because today's video is sponsored by Ace Cool Mixers. Coming up to Amber's uh, house here, and look at this is so sweet. She's got zinnias planted. I look forward to seeing how those turn out this summer. I said that we were gonna be cooking with Amber today, and so we are just getting everything out. Our plan, do you know our plan? We're just going to be making some chicken and two types of muffins, some bran muffins and chocolate chip muffins. Awesome. And I brought along a bran muffin recipe that I'm pretty sure I've tried before. So we're going to do that. And then I brought along the chocolate chip muffin recipe, the one that we use with coconut oil. Oh, good. So hopefully, the first time that I made them with coconut oil, they were really, really good. They were so good. Then the next time I made them, they seemed a little dry. So I think they got a little burnt almost. Is that what happened? Like yeah. Maybe a little bit burnt or something on the bottom. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're going to give that a try. I also bought a new muffin pan. I bought one of these great big bakery size jumbo, jumbo bakery muffin pans. So I don't know which one we're going to put in there, but we're going to give that a try as well. Everybody asks about you all the time. How is Eska? Where is Eska? I haven't seen Eska in a long time. Well, this is where she is. She's doing apartment life. <laughs> it's her favorite spot because the floor is cold. Oh, she and likes. She I likes would think the she from the from the window. The window and, yep. <laughs> oh, she licked me. <laughs> Yuck. We're gonna lay out a bunch of ingredients here and start with. Should we do the coconut muffins first? Sure. You start laying out some ingredients. Look at what. No. Look at the recipe and what we might have to do. Today's video is sponsored by Ace Cool. This is a 600 watt. 10 speed, seven liter, which is just a little over a seven quart bowl, and just, you know, just a mixer. So it is actually, I would say, would be considered like a budget mixer. This would be a mixer for you. It comes in at right about $120 at Amazon. They do have a coupon right now, if you're watching this like in, you know, kind of real time here, for $20 off right now. So that is kind of, that's, I thought, a good price as well. And this comes with a dough hook. It comes with a whisk. And it comes with the basic paddle and just everything. We're gonna get this started and get some muffins going here. Amber's gonna preheat the oven to what? 400. 400 degrees for the chocolate chip muffins. And I just wanna point out that this little lever here is actually like spring loaded and this is what lifts up the, the top housing here so that you can take the bowl off and put your stuff in there. I know Amber said at first she was kinda of like, how am I supposed to get this up? But she's like, oh, I see. Okay, well, it looks like I don't even need to do anything. Amber's got it under control. So she's measuring out the flour and the sugar and the baking powder and the salt, correct? Yep. Look at this fancy tool she has. Wow. I'm teaching this. It's actually not that great because I ran it through the dishwasher once and the handle came off. Oh no. So I had to super glue it back on. It like popped right out of the metal holder. I see. It's pretty though. Yeah. Lights up. It's actually kind of neat how this only clicks once and then you're just like, um, it has a smooth, mm -hmm. a smooth turn and you just keep cranking it up as fast as you want it. You want me to measure it or just kind of spoon them up a portion in? <laughs> what do you think? No, no, no. Just spoon. <laughs> okay. Just spoon. Just look well, at that's the. That's usually what I do, but I didn't know. If look you at the it. one third cup, and you go, okay. That's how much I need. <laughs> like that, you'd say. A little yeah, more. I would say a little more because it's kind of loose in there. There we go. That's probably good. Mhm. Mm School's out. Oh, they're back. Oh, are we from Wisconsin? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Maria's in. She you need some water. water. Emily's there too. Emily <laughs> saw you over there. Yeah, yeah there's a pitcher on water in the fridge if you want to use that instead. <laughs> Fun fact, Emily and Amber live actually quite close together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you can see like, each other's place, yeah, right? <laughs> I can. She can't see mine unless she walks out, but I can see my, hers from my door. <laughs> so they can keep an eye on one another. If you're using coconut oil like we are, so the original recipe calls for a third cup oil, 
but I just like the way the coconut oil makes these taste. Coconut oil um, is better in everything. Yeah, coconut oil is better in everything. But what Amber is doing right now is just kind of cutting in. So actually, I find with coconut oil, it works really well to kind of rub it in. I got all the big chunks out. Okay. What are you gonna do next? You're gonna put in three fourths cup milk and an egg and mix that and then add in the, it's fold in the chocolate chips. All right, can you do a one-handed? I used to be able to. Okay. Yep. Nice. All right, so school is out for the semester. Yep. Good, bad? Good. It has been real good. And then we're going to actually grease the muffin pan with coconut oil. That gives it mm, just yummy, yummy, yummy. You know what, let's... Still grease let's go. Uh -uh. three quarters full, bake it for 100, 18 to 20 minutes. Let's set it at 25 less. Just because with these dark pans like this, sometimes... They can um, get overdone. Yep, they can okay. get a little overdone. And we want to get the inside of these cooked without the outsides getting... Yeah. You want, you're thinking like that or I more? think so. I would just divide it between six. And it's like brand new. The tip is still super sharp. Yeah, yeah that one looks yeah. pretty big. Yeah, that one does look a little big. Is that a good spot for the rack? Perfect. Cook time. For our first time using one of these great big, I can never figure Jumbo. Out. Jumbo, thank you. A jumbo muffin tin. Um, what we did, the original recipe called for 400 degrees, but since this is a dark pan, we turned it down to 375. And you baked them for how long? Um, it was 18 minutes right and then I put it in for another three. But we had turned it down to 350. So after the 18 minutes, we turned it to 350 go on, go. just because we didn't want them to get too brown on the edges, but we needed the insides to get done. So that's we what we also, did. We didn't bake them at 400. We baked right. them at 375 because of the darker tin. I don't you know if you said that. You weren't listening to me. Sorry. She never listens to me. I was listening, but I don't know if you said that. As soon as they're cool, I think we have some people that want to try one. Yeah. <laughs> and then over here, we have two chicken breasts and the chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. And then we're just marinating them in this balsamic vinaigrette. And this was something that Emily mentioned to us. Everyone quiet in the background. All right, so this was something that Emily told me about. She said she had marinated chicken and then I, I think Sparky grilled it and she said it was absolutely phenomenal with this dressing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're ha we have it marinating. And then what are we gonna do from there? Then we're gonna make some bran muffins, I think, right? Well, what are we gonna do with the chicken? Oh, with the chicken? Uh, I don't know I what we're planning doing that. I thought you were gonna air fry it. Oh, we're air frying it, <laughs> and then we're going to shred it in the bowl with the mixer thing. Right, because we both like either heard or seen of people using yes. their like their mixer with the big paddle to mm -hmm. shred chicken. I've never done it. Cool. She's I've never, never done, done it. it. So we're gonna give it a try. That's what we're gonna do. I'll be the first one. These hold up nicely too. They look so good. <laughs> Peter's taking the first bite. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Are you sure? It took you a long time to make up your mind. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it smells what? Like <laughs> so now we're going to make this bran muffin recipe here. So Amber just put um, water right bottle. through her Keurig. And so we got a cup of boiling water yeah. with two cups of the all bran cereal. Oh and that's going to soak. So, and now, soap. yep, she's going to work on the rest of this stuff yeah, too. These are so good. <laughs> a quick way to make buttermilk if you don't have it on hand. I mean, buttermilk is really, really good if you do happen to have it. But if you don't, you can just make it out of milk and either vinegar or lemon juice. I forgot to bring the lemon juice over to Amber's today, but she happened to have vinegar because, you know, she said she did some cleaning or something. Yeah, so. I used it on my floors to mop. 
And then I also used it to make my shoes whiter. I see. I put a couple tablespoons of vinegar in here, then Amber filled this up with milk, and we'll let it just set for, you can already see it kind of start to curdle a little bit. Just let it sit for about a minute or so while we cream in the eggs, and then we'll pour this in. Are you waiting for a treat? This Ace Cool mixer is an excellent option if you're looking for a budget mixer. It is definitely getting the job done on a budget. I mean, like I said, $120 compared to, uh, you know, all of the name brands that are out there are can be quite, quite pricey. Anywhere from $300 all the way up to even $600, $700. And so this is a great option. I'm very excited uh, for Amber to have this opportunity to have this because, you know, when you're first starting out, you don't always have all the uh, things you kind of maybe were used to at home having mm -hmm. when you want to cook and stuff like that. And this is just a great opportunity, I think, for her to be able to have a mixer here. Mm -hmm, for well, sure. she's still in college. Yeah, that's great. So I just use like just rainy bowls, so this would be perfect. <laughs> One cup of flakes going in. And we actually kind of took a little liberty with the recipe. It calls for just bran flakes, but I picked this up because I figured, you know, I would leave this with Amber, and I know she likes this cereal. And then if you want, I brought raisins, so we can put more raisins more in raisins here. More raisins in? Mm -hmm. Should we do that now or wait? Mm. We'll stir the raisins in when we stir in the bran. Okay. Kind of sticky. Yeah, for sure. Yep, whatever you want. A whole bunch of them stuck in there. <laughs> I would say that might be good. Alright. Wait! What is this? Oh, that's the rest of the milk that's supposed to go in. I thought you put all of it in. Nope. <laughs> So batter is a little thin. I feel like I've made this recipe before, but it probably was like 15 no! years ago or something like that. I don't recall it being like this. But anyway, we're just going to go with it. We double-checked and double-checked the recipe, and we did everything right. So Amber just Some sprayed the pan. Batter. Should we just plop it in then, you think? Probably just one layer thick, right? Right. Amber has the chicken here. How long are you gonna put this in your air fryer for? I'm thinking nine minutes, because I, I want to say that's how long it took for a fresh one. Okay. But some of these are different, like this one's really thick. Okay, we'll try to just put the thicker ones in maybe first. Okay. Oops. Okay. 360. I don't usually turn it to anything else than 360. Uh -huh. That's what automatically turns on, and I don't cook anything else on any other temp. Okay. So that's yeah. good. Yep. Oh, well, that means we've got muffins getting close to being done, or maybe done. Let's see. How are they looking? Oh, that's hot. It is hot. Ooh, these are done for sure. That. Those. Yep. These? That pan. Those are done Those too. Are done. So we'll bring those to the middle. Let's test them anyway. Oh no, they seem done. Done? Wow. I put them in for 15 minutes, and then I put them in for another four, so 19 all together. And the okay. recipe said 15 to 20, so. Okay, perfect. Well, muffins, a lot of variety of sizes. <laughs> a variety of sizes. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like, why couldn't you have made the chocolate chip of all that? <laughs> With all these brand muffins and yeah, four only, only chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're right. Dad would be like, what the heck? <laughs> They're good though. Those are done. They seem super juicy too. Wow. They're registering 200 degrees? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. This air fryer gets hot quick. That's why I think those pizzas aren't going to take that long in here at all. Compared to yours, yeah, mine. Which I remember from it living at home is that does take a while for certain things. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. Yeah, this one. You're it goes right. Quick. A lot harder. I think it's really like all. It's smaller. Yep. And I then it's strictly right. like an air fryer. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Yeah, the toaster oven an air fryer does take longer. Should we just dump them in here then, or what? Wow, that's just crazy to me that those. I are know dark. nine minutes. 
so quick and easy. You know? Okay, yeah, I have no idea if you should cut them in half. I don't know. I think we should cut them in half just to make sure that that thing's not, like, not working. Okay. Oh my gosh! That's raw. <laughs> that is raw. <laughs> Okay, so how is that 180? Is not, I was gonna say something is not right with your meat thermometer. That is interesting. Well, yeah, it's reading 160 right now. Ah. So. So your meat thermometer is shot. That's wonderful. This hasn't Ooh. even gone through the dishwasher or anything. Got it from Walmart. I was gonna say 200 degrees. Yeah, that seemed strange to me too. So, all right, well, let's just. Put, Put them in back in for at least another nine minutes. At least another nine. All right, Amber's just checking here to check on the chicken. See how that is looking. That's that it. looks done. done, right? Yep. Wow, that looks beautiful, actually, in the air fryer like that. Mm -hmm. It stays so juicy. Yeah. I never do that at home, mm -hmm. but I think I'm going to have to start. Gonna... You put it here and then it locks. See oh. this? It says lock, so you oh, kind of okay. spin the handle that way. I don't. Okay. How's it doing? It's doing good. I guess I can let go on top. I mean, it's shredding. Yeah, look at it. How easy. Let's try a bite. It looks so hot. It does look hot, but it looks really good. It needs a little salt and pepper. Maybe. But it's good. No, I think it's delicious. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. I mean, this is much thinner, much so thinner. I'd say this could go for 10 minutes. I mean, that other stuff was thick. And how long did that go? For... First it went for nine, nine. then nine again, and then, so that's 18, what's 18 plus seven? I don't know, you tell oh, me. A bone. Is it 25? Yep, <laughs> let's go with that. <clears throat> Okay, so mom just ran over to drop off some muffins to Emily. So the chicken is done, so I think these are the thighs. I'm just putting them into the mixer. And we will see how these go now. I'm more scared I'm gonna hold it. Well, I don't think the bowl is locked in all the way. So this is what it's kind of looking now. I'm just gonna put it into the container. No, Alright, and just like that, we're wrapping things up for the day. Amber's heading off to work. Yep. And that's it. So I hope that everyone enjoyed that video. I enjoyed cooking with Amber. Yep, and we've got, got a lot of good food out of it. And if you are interested in the Ace Cool mixer, there will be a, a link in the description box below. And be sure to surprise. click the box over at Amazon because there is a $20 off at this point. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for cooking with me. <laughs>